Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and today we're going to talk about tumble books. As I said, my name is Sarah and I work at the Bracebridge Public Library. Today we're going to be talking about one of our e-resources, which is TumbleBooks. TumbleBooks is a great e-resource for kids. It covers a whole range of reading levels. It has storybooks, graphic novels, read-alongs, nonfiction, some videos. Now you can access TumbleBooks on your computer or you can also access it as an app on your smartphone or your tablet. So if your library subscribes to Tumble Books, you get free access to all of their books. Um, you can also get access with your school if your school subscribes. So check with your library or your school first. If you do have a Bracebridge Public Library card, we do uh, subscribe to Tumble Books so you can get all of those. So to access TumbleBooks from your computer, you want to go on to the Bracebridge Public Library website. Once you're on the website, you can go to the Library 24-7 tab and then down to Online Resources. TumbleBooks is at the very bottom of the list, so we can scroll past the other e-resources that the library has until we get to the bottom. And we see Tumble Books here on the right, so we'll click on that to open it up. Now when you're opening up Tumble Books for the first time or with a new computer, you might have to add your library card number in. When you add your library card number into the computer, you want to make sure you put in the whole thing with no spaces. When we're on the TumbleBook Library website, we can see that there are different options across the top. We have Home, Index, Favorites, Playlist, and there's also a handy tab here that tells us how to tumble. So if you are having problems with TumbleBooks, you can click on that for more information. Underneath, we have options about the types of books that we can borrow. So whether you're looking for storybooks, so that's like picture books, books to read along to, ebooks, graphic novels, nonfiction, or more. There are also some French books available. So if you have children that are usually taking French in school, it can be a great resource for you to use now. Let's go look at storybooks. So each of the tabs are divided into different categories. Here under storybooks, we have new books. We also have books divided by theme. And then we have books divided by author. So there are a lot of Robert Munch books. So if you like Robert Munch, um, this is a great resource to go to. Let's go over to read-alongs. So under read-alongs, you have books for early readers, chapter books, and advanced readers. There is also a section for children's classics. And you can press the arrows on either end of the book row to see more books. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the Tumble Books app. Now, if you're using an Apple device, like an iPhone or an iPad, you want to go to the App Store. And if you are using an Android device, 
like a Samsung or a Huawei or a Google tablet or phone, then you want to go to the Google Play Store. So we are going to be using an Android device just to show how to download the app. It's gonna be a similar process in the App Store if you're using an Apple product. So let's go ahead and search where it says search. And we're going to type in tumble books. So when you type in tumble books, tumble books should pop up as an option. The icon is a green background with a blue book. And when we look at the app, we'll see the name tumble books. Below that, it gives us information about who made it and that's tumbleweed press. We'll see some screenshots here, what category it is, ratings and reviews. So let's go back up to the top and let's install the app. Okay, so once it's finished downloading, we can open up the app and we just want to go to open. If you're logging in with your school ID, you want to stay in this first screen, but if you're logging in with your library card number, we want to go over to where it says library, and then we want to choose our country. And then if we tap on the next one down, then we can find Ontario. And once we have everything filled in, we're gonna say next. So now it's asking us for our library name. So we can find the Bracebridge Public Library. And then you can enter in your library card number. So when you're putting in your library card number, you should put in the whole number with no spaces. So go ahead and do that now and then hit log in. So once you're logged in, it should look something like this, which is very similar to the computer. So you'll know that we have the same menu across the top and the same tabs for options for books as well. So under the Storybooks tab, we can see lots of different books. And if we want more options, we can just swipe over and find more books. So let's go ahead and look at little p. So when we tap on the book, it brings up more information about it. It gives the plot, the author, the illustrator, and more information down here. It also tells us how long the book will take to be read, and it gives our reading level. So if you tap on any of the words that are underlined, it can take you to other things that are similar. So if you tap on the author's name, it will take you to other books that the author has written. And if you tap on the reading level, so let's go ahead and do that now, it will bring up all the other books that are at that reading level. So this is a really handy tool to be able to have your young reader find books that are at their level and help encourage them in their reading. Now you will notice that some of the books also have a game that's available. So that game will be related to the story and it will help them develop um, more reading skills. It will help them work on their sentences, words, and reading. So let's go ahead and look at this one. So we see the games for Little P. There are three of them. There's one about verbs. There's a word catch game and there's also a word search. And these are all related to the book. 
at the very bottom corner, you do have a back arrow. So if you need to go back to the previous screen, that will take you there. So that is Tumble Books. Thank you so much for joining in and we will see you next time to learn more about the local history collection that the Bracebridge Library has, as well as what resources are available for you at home online. Um, at the end of this video, um, I have included some bloopers. Um, if you remember in the first video that I did, uh, Jack the cat was in the video quite a bit. Um, and this last video that I've done, um, Ash had interrupted several times. Um, I was able to refill most of those, um, but just for fun, I've added them to the end of this video. So keep watching. So the other day I had Jack, my cat, um, interrupting my video and um, today we have another special guest um, and that is Ash the puppy. So I'm sorry if I'm a little distracted. <laughs> so as I said my name is Sarah and I work at the Bracebridge Public Library range of different reading levels from story <laughs> Yes, I know. Sit. Sit.